Hi, in this video I want to explain how to determine frequency of the alleles and I will use um, example of the um, occurrence of two uh, alleles in the human population and you probably know that there are different uh, systems of the uh, typing of the blood cells um, of the blood exists for example ABO system and um, also RH that can be plus or minus and there is also uh, another uh, system that is called MN actually this is due to two alleles present and it's uh, also uh, can be shown like this um, so this is two uh, alleles that present in the human population and these two combined uh, can give us three different combinations um, for example uh, M can be combined with M from the so one can go from the mother side another one from the dead side and this blood si called uh, M system or M type, uh, another type can be um, MN and it's called MN and another combination of the alleles can be N, N and this gives us uh, N type. So um, this also means that um, each allele um, is different gene and different gene produce different proteins and this uh, in this example that I'm using right now um, these two uh, proteins uh, these two alleles are codominant so means they can be expressed simultaneously and uh, no one um, is um, over dominant uh, over another one so um, three different types can be present and um, I will use uh, example um, for example if we take a um, uh, group of students and make uh, take samples from them and for example, we got 392 people have a group M and 336 that has MN group and 72 people that has uh, N group and altogether it's 800 people. So uh, the question is what is the frequency of each uh, allele in this um, uh, human population of student and uh, I will use um, first uh, uh, simplified example then you would be able to uh, solve this problem very easily for example if we have um, say 20 red ribbons and um, 10 blue ribbons what is the frequency of the occurrence um, it's easy to find we just take uh, for example 20 red uh, uh, ribbons and divide them by combine it uh, 20 plus 10 it is uh, um, 20 to 30 or we can even more simplify it to 2 to 3 or it is 0 0.66 and it's also can be expressed as a percentage 66 percent and vice versa uh, we can find how uh, occurrence of the blue ribbons we have to combine red plus blue 
and we're getting 10 to 30 or 1 to 3 or 0 0.36 or if we express it as a percentage this is going to be uh, 33 percent so um, this give us example a simple example how we can solve this problem but um, I will use slightly different formula uh, on my next slide so we can use almost uh, the same formula just a little bit modified to find the frequency of the alleles um, using our example and um, let's uh, say that uh, P is uh, frequency of the uh, M alleles and uh, Q is the frequency of the N alleles then uh, P plus Q equals to 1 and um, as long as we have um, two alleles present here and uh, total number is 392 in order to find uh, um, how many alleles of the uh, M present we just use uh, formula 392 multiplied by 2 plus um, 336 why we do not uh, multiply uh, uh, 336 which is MN type just because uh, half of this would be M type and half N type so we double uh, M, -M, M, M type because this is two uh, alleles present and only half here we also could uh, use different formula we uh, can not um, multiply and use just 392 and divide 336 by half but it would be better to use this formula as I give it to you because um, for example if we use uh, same formula for plants uh, we may have a situation where there are uh, more than two alleles present and um, even in human uh, uh, genome uh, some uh, genes may be present in not just two alleles but uh, three, five, twenty, even hundreds different uh, versions of the same gene and um, below the line uh, we use a total number that is 800 and also multiplied by two because all the alleles present in two copies so what we get is 1000 120 over 1600 um, that is 0 0.7 and uh, as I already shown in this formula that P plus Q is 1 we already instantly know that uh, uh, the frequency of the uh, N uh, allele is uh, uh, 1 minus Q minus P that we already find and um, that means that um, let me draw it um, so 1 minus um, P is equals to um, Q and as long as we know that uh, P is 0 0.7 that means that Q is um, 0 0.3 so uh, but we also can um, check our answer and find a frequency of the N alleles so we use uh, um, the same formula and we know that um, we have 72 
alleles of the n present we have to multiply by 2 and um, plus um, 336 uh, and also divided by total number multiplied by 2 of the all the alleles present so we have uh, 480 over 1600 and that is 0 0.3 um, so this was example how to find uh, frequency of the two alleles in the human population and this same formula can be applied to um, different situations and um, not only to humans but uh, whenever you have two alleles uh, and uh, in our example I use it alleles that is um, co-dominant um, thank you for your attention please subscribe to my channel and goodbye